I'm at Peterborough Speedway today for the Ben Fund Bonanza, an annual event run by the Speedway Riders Benevolent Fund to raise money for the fund. Admission was £20 per adult and the souvenir programme was £4 each, including the afternoon's race card. For my family it would have cost £48, but I decided to sponsor the event so we got to enter as part of the sponsorship package. The majority would have paid £20 per person, £18 for concessions, £8 for minors over 10 and anyone under 10 goes for free. £50 for an afternoon of family entertainment is competitive value for money. The full-time professional riders put on 22 races of action and they were supported by the 125 and 250cc youth classes who did a handful of races and the veterans riding upright with retro team race jackets on such as Crayford and Hackney. Although I imagine the SRBF would have hoped for a few more fans, there was a respectable crowd. The weather was decent, the tracks looked great and the conditions set the scene for some tasty speedway. I was meant to do a track walk before the speedway started but I got bogged down in traffic driving to the stadium. No! I was determined to get there though because my daughter was one of the mascots for the day. Don't worry, I've got an ace up my sleeve. She was so excited to meet the riders and walk out onto the centre green. When we talk about youth in Speedway, it's not just their attendance that's important, it's the mind space it creates and it's the engagement. She went to school telling all her friends she watched a Speedway race on the track. She had a photo of Lewis Kerr and stood out on the centre green with him. She did the same thing when she met her hero Chris Harris last year. This is what Speedway desperately needs. Kids trading rider stickers in the playground, collecting riders autographs, talking about Speedway and making their friends want to be part of the action. The Ben Fund Bonanza provided a chance for us to get our kids and grandkids involved and many people took that opportunity and all the money raised went to the Ben Fund. This is one of the things that makes the Ben Fund quite innovative. They have to think outside the box because traditional Speedway revenue isn't easy to come by. The WSRA donated fork covers for the event. They were signed by the riders and auctioned off after the racing along with the riders race jackets. We didn't manage to get Lewis's but we did get Nick Morris's number 4 race jacket. Speedway is a dangerous sport, we all know that, but it's easy to forget because the modern sport is considerably safer than it used to be. When Speedway recommenced in the UK after the Second World War, five riders were killed in track incidents. Nelson Bronco Wilson, Cyril Anderson, Reg Craven, Billy Wilson and Eric Dunn all lost their lives at five different venues doing what they loved and many more riders suffered injuries, sometimes life-changing. This was a time before the state-funded National Health Service was in place. In 1948, Lieutenant Colonel Reginald Vernon Charlesworth Brooke OBE, Sir Arthur James Elvin MBE and Major Cecil Lawrence Smith collectively invested over £6,000 to start the Speedway Riders Benevolent Fund. Speedway's very own NHS, which was also formed later that year. The fund was registered as a charity to assist British Speedway riders, their dependents and families following serious or life-changing Speedway related accidents. The fund has adapted over the years to benefit former and current riders riding in the British leagues or representing Great Britain on the international stage. Support can range from financial compensation to keep the bills paid whilst the rider cannot earn their living to supply medical equipment or specialist care for cases with life-changing consequences. Today, the fund's annual expenditure is over £100,000 per year. Like so many things in Speedway, the fund is maintained by volunteers. 
a team of five trustees and a treasurer look after the daily needs of the fund, people giving up their spare time for the greater good of the sport. It's the hard work of these heroes behind the curtain that allows our heroes on the track to strut their stuff. Where does the money come from though? Some money comes from the track bucket collections, individual fundraising efforts, bequests and donations. However, the primary source of income is the Ben Fund Bonanza. The first Ben Fund Bonanza was hosted at Sheffield on the 29th of March 2009 and was won by Australian Lee Adams. Jason Crump comes second and Ty Woffington completed the podium. Since then, the Bonanza has been to Rye House, Scunthorpe, Birmingham, Berwick, Leicester, Swindon, Kings Lynn and now to Peterborough. The Bonanza is always held in March and has traditionally been the annual curtain raiser for the Speedway season, but it's a week into the season this year as they couldn't get the showground earlier in March. Josh Alty's testimonial at Scunthorpe opened the season on the 19th of March 2022. The Ben Fund Bonanza was staged every year until 2018 when Peterborough were first meant to hold the event, but it was cancelled due to the severe wet and cold weather, the temperature getting as low as minus 3 on the day it was meant to run. In 2019, it returned to Leicester, then it was staged at Scunthorpe in 2020, the only professional speedway match on UK soil open to the public that year. The SRBF couldn't stage the Bonanza in 2021 due to the season's late start and crowd restrictions, but it's back in 2022 and hopefully for many more years to come. Craig Cook is the only rider to have ever won the Bonanza twice, and Ben Barker is the only rider to have competed in every Ben Fun Bonanza to date, and that includes this year's. Talking of this year's Bonanza, the East of England arena typically produces excellent racing and today was no different. The race between Sam Masters and Ryan Douglas in Heat 11 was a standout and was superb. They were both neck and neck for four laps and Douglas just nicked it in front of his fellow Wolf and Countrymen. Now the purpose of my videos isn't to provide coverage of the racing itself, I'm trying to show you what a great day it can be and why it's essential for us to support and grow the sport from within. If you want to watch the Speedway, then check out your local track. You can't ever beat the excitement of the bikes warming up, the smell hitting you and the roar of the engines as that green light comes on. If you can't make it to a live match or don't live nearby, there are many official avenues to help you out. You've got the Discovery and Eurosports coverage of internationals and Premiership and Premier Sport showing international leagues and there's the British Speedway Network offering championship racing, along with other individual streaming options available from each club. So back to the day, Ryan Douglas won the five rider final ahead of Sam Masters and Richard Lawson. Ben Barker was unlucky to lose third on the last bend and Tom Brennan finished at the back, but he did pick up the rider of the meeting award and quite rightly, a stern effort from the youngster. A special mention should be made for Jordan Palin and Leon Flint, who were pretty busy covering for withdrawals and did a tremendous job. Speedway isn't just a family sport. It is a family. The camaraderie and friendships that exist at the track are unique. People choose to use their spare time to help each other in a meaningful way be it the riders and their mechanics giving up their day to raise money, the volunteers at every Speedway venue, or organisations like the WSRA making donations to the cause. You've got people coming up with all sorts of different sponsored fundraising efforts. Then, crucially, there are the men and women who administrate and run the Ben Fund. The lifeblood of British Speedway is people who give up their time and money to keep the sport going. Great Britain is the only speedway nation in the world to have a specific charity to assist its injured riders and their families. The SRBF is the shining example of what British Speedway does right and shows that we do care about what happens to riders once the dust has settled. This is why it is so vital that we, the fans, support the Ben Fund Bonanza. 
it's our chance to support the charity and we get a day's entertainment out of it. As a Speedway supporter, what more could we really ask for? Not all heroes in Speedway are on the track. You can make a donation today by texting SRBF to the number 70085 or if you look at the link in the description below the SRBF website is there for you to go and have a look. The Speedway Riders Benevolent Fund is a registered charity number 208733. Thank you for watching and most importantly, thank you for supporting the SRBF.